friends, welcome to Sunday School. I trust you were blessed by that violin duet in celebration of Mother's Day. We need to say a quick word of prayer before we move ahead, okay? Dear God, we thank you for the opportunity to celebrate our mothers today. We ask, oh God, that even as we learn about our mothers today, that you bless us today and always and bless our mothers also in jesus name amen so do you all have your bibles with you okay i trust you do all right so two more things you need to pause this video right now and go get your paper and pen and if you have some craft materials at home go get them as, as well and come and join me as we learn about our mothers today. Today, in the spirit of Mother's Day celebration, we're going to be learning about two important people in the Bible. And who are they? Ruth and Naomi. These two people have a mother and daughter relationship that is worthy of emulation. And as kids who are Bible students, we love to learn from people who have done so well in the Bible so that we too can have a record of doing so well, especially when it has to come to the relationship between us and our parents. Our topic for today is Happy Mother's Day. I know you figured that, right? And we're going to be focusing on Naomi and Ruth. Our text is taken from Ruth chapter 1 from verse 6 to 17. And our memory verse will be taken from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version, which is going to be displayed on your screen. I want you to read along with me, okay? So let's go. Then she arose with her daughter's in-law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Therefore, she went out from the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. And Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest, each in the house of her husband. So she kissed them, and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, Surely we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb, that it may be your husbands? Turn back, my daughters. Go, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say, I have hope, if I should have a husband tonight, and should also bear sons, would you wait for them till they were grown? Would you restrain yourselves from having husbands? No, my daughters. For it grieves me very much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. Then they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Hopper kissed her mother Hinler, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, Look, your sister Hinler has gone back to her people and her gods. Return after your sister in law. But Ruth said, and treat me not to leave you, or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death part you and me. From the passage that we read, we see that Naomi was not Ruth's biological mother, 
but she treated Ruth as her own daughter because she was a godly woman. And Ruth, in turn, because she was also godly, appreciated her and showed deep love to Naomi. Today, we are going to see as kids how, like Ruth, we can show deep appreciation and love to our mothers. So we're going to be learning about some special words today. And the first one is honor. What does honor mean? It means to give special praise, special attention, and respect. Okay, so what does respect mean? Respect means to admire one's capacity and achievement. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we're going to be talking about two words now, and those are long life. Oh, do you know that the Bible gives us a commandment and a promise? And it's actually mentioned in so many places in the Bible. But there's one that we're going to be talking about today, and that's found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. And that is, obey your parents in the Lord. And then we move to the other part, which says, honor your father and mother, that your days may be long. So, which is the commandment and which is the promise? You got that? Yeah. The obey and honor is the commandment and then the promise is long life and a happy life. Wow, that's so interesting. But then, why would God tell us to obey our father and mother? Hmm. But isn't it awesome that God reminds us that to have a long and happy life, we have to honor our parents. We have to obey our parents. Wow, interesting. Okay, so let's continue with our study of new words. We're going to be looking at encourage. What does it mean to encourage? It means to show, you know, to give courage. It means to give support, to give confidence in someone. And how can we encourage? We can encourage by speaking kind words. Remember that when we read our text and we saw the relationship between Naomi and Ruth, we could see that Ruth spoke kind words to Naomi. Isn't that true? Yes. So what we're going to be doing today is you are going to be speaking kind words to your mother because that's one way we can show deep appreciation and love to our mothers so now i want you to get your pen and paper and write out five things five things that your mom has done for you or five things that your mom does that makes her an exceptional mother okay and once we're done i will tell you what next to do so while you write that, let's watch and see some of the nice things that our mothers do for us. There is no precious gold like mother. Money cannot purchase her. There is no precious gold like mother. Money cannot purchase her. I was in a womb for nine months. She nursed me for three good years. There is no precious gold like mother. Money cannot purchase her. There is someone I love so there and mother is our name. Oh, M O C H E R. M O C H E R M O C H E R and mother is a name. There is someone I love so there and mother is a name. Oh, M O C H E 
H E R M O T H E R M O T H E R and mother is a name. I love my mother. My mother loves me. No circumstance can change her decision. I love my mother. My mother loves me. No circumstance can change her decision. Who sat and watched my infant head when sleeping on my cradle bed? And tears of sweet affection shed my mother. When pain and sickness made me cry, who gazed upon my heavy eyes and wept for fear that I should die? My mother. I'm sure you have your nice words written down. Okay, and in case you maybe forgot what to write, from the clip you just watched, I'm sure you can see some of the things that mommy has done for you. Okay, so if you have your words written down, it's time to go meet mommy. To tell out those words intentionally, you have to mean those words. Tell it to her, you know, hug her, and let her know that you mean these words deeply. And once you're done, you give up the, uh, whatever, you know, what you've created, you know, what you've written down. And I'm sure mommy is going to really love it and appreciate you. Okay, so we are going to recite our memory verse now. And like I mentioned earlier, our memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. And it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Can we all say that together? Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Okay. So with that, we are gradually coming to the end of our lesson. But before we go, you know, today we've learned about Naomi and Ruth, right? And how we, we can pick good things from their relationship. Do you know there are other mothers in the Bible as well? So I'm going to give you an assignment. Okay. You are going to solve this crossword puzzle. By finding out who had these mothers, but well, you, you've got some clues, and the clues had the names of their children. Okay, I'm sure that's gonna be fun, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, and once you're done with that, I would like you to send that to Hattie Pelomi, or when next we meet on Zoom, I would like you to share that with me. Having said that, we are going to pray. It's been another exciting time fellowshipping with you and learning new words together and making the determination to always appreciate our mothers. And we are going to pray. And after we finish praying, Daniel and Demi Lade will come back to give you another violin duet. Still in the light of celebrating our mothers. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for today. Thank you for teaching us the importance of godly parents. And thank you for teaching us that we as children can appreciate our parents. We can encourage our parents. That we can honor our parents. That we can respect our parents. And that we can encourage them using kind words. Oh Lord, we pray that you would help us to be doers of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, have a lovely Mother's Day celebration. Bye.